Yo, yo, YouTube gang, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, man. I'm back with another one. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Let me turn this shit off. Man, how you guys doing, dude? It's been a minute since I made a video. You guys, I'm back in my hometown right now. Haven't been home in a few years for the holidays and uh, been experiencing a lot of different different stuff, bro, like along the healing journey. And um, I wanna talk a little bit about that, exactly that, the healing journey. And I wanna talk about semen retention, obviously. Semen retention is what gets us here as men. It gets us feeling to this space where we could be starting to heal. You know, you can't just go on semen retention and then have everything be healed, obviously, you know, but um, it helps spark the process. That's what I'm starting to learn. It sparks that flame to where now you can start doing more shadow work. You can start being more self-aware. You know, you're spending more time in isolation. You know what I mean? You're not going on, on uh, crazy ass dates, you know, with all these females trying to chase after women. You know, you got time to yourself figuring things out. But um, hopefully you guys can be able to follow me on this because I'm speaking from the heart. And this is something that happens to us or anybody that has been through difficult stuff. You know, they've been hurt, whether you guys have been abused by, you know, your girlfriend or a narcissist, or it could be your mother, it could be other family members, it could be a variety of different things. You know, anybody that's been hurt, right? It's like at one point we used to have our hearts open, you know, to love, and then we end up getting hurt and you go through all these different things. Maybe you get dumped in a relationship, maybe things go wrong, maybe you fall short, you know, tons of different things. I know I've fallen short many times. And so that, that affects the way that we move, you guys, and it affects the way that we basically um, accept love. You know, we put these walls up, you know what I mean? To where it's like, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, deep, uh, it's a deep one, man. You know, this is about like healing your trauma and it's about learning to open up your heart again, you know? I'm just like thinking like lately I've been hanging out with with you know different people and like I feel like my old self like before I started the healing journey um I'd be all like anxious and I'd be doing like people pleaser stuff like oh you know when I hang out with such and such I want to make sure that like they're having a good time you know like always thinking about the, the other person you know when in reality you guys all we're doing out here is just showing up you know, all we have to do is show up, be our authentic self, and basically keep our heart open. Keep our heart open to accept potential love from other people. If you go around and you're closed off, you're never gonna you're never gonna find real spiritual connections with people. You know, and I feel like a lot of people go around and they think that they're forming these connections, or they're 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 seeking that. You know, you're seeking a a connection with someone but you're closed off your heart is closed off you know it's from trauma you know so it's always you know it, it's from pain you guys it's from suffering it's from getting broken up with from getting dumped it's from anything like that man you know as a kid maybe you have uh, mommy or daddy issues you know whatever things like that it gets you in a space to where you close your heart off you know and you know sometimes we don't even know it you know, you're going around and like hanging out with all these different people, but like you're operating from like a half-ass space. You don't even know it because you're hurt. You're hurt, man. On the inside, your heart is, is broken and your soul is, is hurt. You know what I mean? You try to put the mask on, try to go around and be, you know, a regular person or just trying to be... You know, looking for love, looking for a spiritual connection, and, and it never really goes the right way because you're always anxious, you're always people pleasing, you're not thinking about yourself, you're not putting love into yourself, which is the answer, you know, for all this stuff. Healing and loving yourself, that's how you heal, you know, you heal and put your energy back into yourself. Learn about yourself, go do shadow work, figure out what, what exactly happened, man, you know, when all these things went down. You know, whether it be like breakups or things from your childhood, whatever it is, you know, we all have, we all have gone through stuff. So that my message for you guys on this one is just like, it's all about just showing up, being yourself, 
and just putting the energy back into you. Don't even think about that other person, man. If, if someone is like hitting you up and they want to like chill with you or like whatever, man, you guys are vibing out. Like that person wants to be with you. That person wants to spend time with you. You know what I mean? You don't have to like do all this crazy stuff. Oh, I want to make sure they're having a good time and you know, people pleasing and like you're in your head. You know, it's nothing like that. All you got to do is just show up with an open heart. You know, and sometimes that it takes work to get here. You know, just be yourself and just, man, this is like, this is, this is a uh, big time stuff. You know what I mean? It's all energy, you know, I hope, I hope that you guys were able to follow me on this and I was kind of just letting it fly and speaking from the heart, but, um, that's what it is, man. It's hard to form connections with people when you're closed off, you know, when you've been through pain and trauma. It's because you're scared. You're scared that it's going to happen again. You know, you're scared of opening yourself back up to that feeling. You know, subconsciously, that's, that's what's going on. So, all right, guys. Hopefully, you learned something from this. Hopefully, you guys got something out of this. But, uh, yeah, man, we heal our trauma and the pain so we can open our heart back up again to accept love in whatever form that is. Whether that be friendships, relationships, uh, love from your family members anything man anyone you come in contact with if you're closed off it's not gonna it's not gonna work so we gotta crack it open open that thing back up get into a better headspace man get into a space where we where we love ourselves again you know and then we can go out and project that out and you're gonna be noticing you're gonna be attracting a lot more things a lot more people opportunities money you know success all this stuff so Hopefully you guys learned something from this. As always, I'm out uh, Christmas shopping right now for my family. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.